Well, I'm, I'm vegetarian, so um, my diet's like kind of strict, but I have my sister out on the road with me who is my nutritionist and trainer, and um, just keeping all of us eating healthy and she juices for us every day. And breakfast, I have, I, I don't even know what I have, eggs, oatmeal, um, and just try to always have clean, clean foods. And of course, we have our bad days that we veg out, but really just eating clean and natural and lots of vegetables, like that's really what we enjoy. I feel, I feel better when I eat that way. When I'm missing home, we eat really bad. Like today, we've been on tour for a couple weeks now and we just had breakfast and I got um, quiche and waffle and I put Nutella all over the waffle and covered it in syrup. And so like when you have those pastas, Italian dinners, like that makes you feel like you're cozy at home. It's the comfort foods. Um, but in the daytime, we try to try to eat healthy and, and clean and save it for the nighttime splurges. I try not to eat um, a couple hours before I sing because it's really hard to sing with a, a full tummy. Something light like salads or, I don't know, quinoa, avocado. I love avocado as snacks. Um, hummus and carrots. Um, and then um, after show, um, you know, it's late and it's not good to eat the the bad greasy foods, but that's kind of when you want it after your long day and try to get workouts in. Um, I s always tell people if you don't like working out, try just doing at least 20 minutes on the treadmill or go for a 20 minute jog outside and you at least got, got something in and you can release that energy and, and really feel good. It can be challenging. You, you don't get to eat the foods that you normally eat at home. You can't cook. You're on a bus with tons of people in different cities every day and living out of a suitcase. So it's a lot of wear on, on your mind and body. So when I go to Hawaii, it's just, it's just like the most relaxing, calming place. And the people are so friendly. When I'm in Hawaii, um, you know, fish is like the common thing to eat over there. And I try not to eat a lot of fish because I'm, I'm trying to go vegan, but um, I still, I still um, give in sometimes and they have these, um, I go to the island of Kauai and in the town of Kilauea, they have the Kilauea fish market and they have these ahi wraps that are amazing. And so that's like my go-to every time I get to Hawaii, I, I want one of those. On the road, eating vegan is, it's basically impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just you, the, the, the pickings are slim and, and t unless you have like a, a personal chef out with you and you have the time to go find the right restaurants and grocery stores, which is definitely a goal that I'm, I'm working towards. I've been vegetarian for a few years now, so that's, it's easy to find the right foods and we always find a Whole Foods and you can go to the salad bar and um, there's surprisingly tons of restaurants that that cater to vegetarians and vegans and soups and salads are have become my favorite thing and they're nutritious and you feel light after them and people think it's boring but honestly when you when you get used to it it's great i love making soups my sister taught me how to make um, tons of different kinds of soups and it's really fun go to the store grab all your different ingredients and you just get to add it all in one by one while you're hanging out drinking wine and watching your shows and Cooking to me, I'm not, I'm not so great at it yet. So I start by the little things, and so I think soup is one of those things that um, it's, it's easy and it's fun. And I always blend my soups and um, have people over family dinners. <laughs>